Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be looking at uh, an old Toshiba satellite laptop. Uh, used to run Windows 8 all those years ago. I believe it's, a, it's an i5 third generation CPU. Um, I think these ones come with only four gig of memory and it comes with a mechanical hard drive. So today we're going to be upgrading it. Okay, so today what we've got is we've got um, just a, uh, an SSD drive that we had lying around. This is an SK Hynix. It's a 120 gig, 128 gig um, SATA SSD. So we're going to be putting this in today because it's just sat in the cupboard doing nothing. And we've got a whole load of DDR3 memory here um, that we should be able to find something suitable. So what we're going to do is we'll open it up, have a look to see what's inside and see what we need to do to do an upgrade. So the really nice thing about these uh, Satellite Pro laptops is everything's contained that we want to upgrade under this central flap. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the battery and then we're going to remove one screw. We're going to remove one screw that's down here. And then we're going to prise up the side of the panel with a screwdriver and unclip everything. Remove it like that. And inside we've got our mechanical hard drive and we've got our memory, both of which we're going to be upgrading today. So let's get the memory out and have a look to see what speed it is. Okay, so as typical as it is, can't actually see the speed of it, but it looks like it's Certainly four gig, 26, 12, 26, 66, I think. Let's see if we can get this, uh, let's get, see if we can get this little sticker off. Okay, yep, yeah, so it is 12800 DDR3. So let's see what we've got in our collection. Okay, we've got another stick of the same RAM. So I've managed to find exactly the same memory. Um, it's four gig DDR3, 12800, and this is DDR3, that's 12800 as well. So these are exactly the same modules. So although this is slightly different, um, being this is 1113B4, and this one is 1110F2. Um, so it's got slightly different RAM arrangement. So as you can see on this stick here, we've got uh, eight on that side and we've got eight on this side. So that would suggest that they are 500 meg uh, chips. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, no, even less than that. Whereas we've got uh, eight on here. So let's, uh, let's try it anyway. Hopefully it will work, I'm fairly sure it will do. So we'll put our original stick back in the bottom and we'll put our, no, we'll put the new one back in the bottom and we'll put our original at the top here. Okay, that's not in properly. Okay, that's better, that's in properly. Right, so now we want to take the hard disk out. So let's how we'll see how we get in here. It just slides back. This has just got a, uh, a bit of tin on it, so we'll take that off. Okay, so that's our drive. Got to make sure it goes in the same way. So we're just going to lift that up, move that to one side, and then pop these screws back in. These screws don't just hold the 
the metal tab in place they actually go into these little grooves here so it doesn't slide around and come loose like that okay so now we can get that back in we can put the cover on the top And that's the hardware upgraded. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna load a fresh copy of Windows 10, and then we're gonna have a look at the specifications. Right, so now we've got the system fully patched and prepared. I'm just gonna run through the boot up time. So from power on to login screen with the mechanical drive and only four gig of RAM, that was taking, um, that was taking 58 seconds. 58.22 seconds and since we put the SSD drive and the extra 4 gig of RAM in the boot up time and a clean installation of Windows 10 it has to be said the boot up time is now 13.66 seconds so what a difference that's made so let's go in and have a look at the specifications so what we've got we've got our i5 third gen processor so it's a 3210 mobile processor running at 2.5 gigahertz. We've now got our, as you can see here, our 8 gig usable RAM. Um, so that's made uh, a good difference as well. And we're running Windows 10 Pro so that we can join this to a domain if we need to. So if we go to our device manager, scroll down here. Let me go to device manager. There were a couple of items that it didn't install. One was the PCI bus, which is under the uh, system settings here. That didn't install um, with the standard uh, Windows updates. However, you've got the ability to download and install optional updates. And if you go into the optional updates and select the drivers, uh, driver and options, um, that will show you what Windows update has found for your specific device in terms of chipset, um, network drivers and so on and so forth. So I uh, just selected those and installed those and that has fixed all of the issues that um, didn't install with the standard Windows update for the device manager settings. And that's it. So what was uh, a really unusable system is now a completely usable system. It's got good, uh, good performance, applications start up quickly and uh, this will give someone um, years of happy computing. One thing that we always like to do is to check the quality of the webcam. So if we go to camera, okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. So let's just uh, turn off the lights if it handles it, turn on the lights. So in terms of the quality of this, webcam this is not too bad i've seen a, an awful lot worse and this would be perfectly adequate for um zoom calls team calls and things like that looks actually all right so yep happy with that so if you found that video useful on how to resurrect an old laptop um, give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel just want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one